The numbers on this map represent the barometric pressure data collected at weather stations across the United States. The weather stations report their data to the National Weather Service to create maps just like this. The numbers represent the millibars of atmospheric pressure. Meteorologists use that atmospheric data such as this to analyze and predict the weather. We're going to use this data to predict wind. We're going to connect the air pressure data with lines called isobars. The isobars connect areas of similar pressure to show us areas that have the same pressure. Isobars are smooth lines with few if any kinks and isobars cannot cross each other. I'm going to start with the lowest air pressure. Uh, so right now the first thing that we need to do is look for the stations that have the lowest air pressure and that is right here uh, 1004 so what we're going to do is we're going to draw a line to connect all of the 1004 stations so I want to make sure that I don't pick up my pencil I keep it one line and I connect them all remember isobars can't cross so you want to make sure you're planning it out before you do it the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to find the highest station. If I look around, the highest number that I see is 1024. So I'm going to look and make sure I see all the 1024s, and then I'm going to connect all the 1024s right here. After that, we connect the highest one. We're going to go to the second highest and connect them. So I see 1020, 1020, 1020. So I want to connect all of those with one isobar line and make sure that I do not cross any other ones all the way around. All right, and so I've connected all of those. Now we're going to connect the next highest. The next highest is a little tricky though because it's 1016. And somewhere in the east over here, so I see 1016, 1016, but then on, there's some on the west, 1016 over here. Because we can't cross the isobar lines, this 1020 kind of separates the east and the west half. So what we're going to do is we're going to just draw a line over here connecting this 1016 with each other. And then on the other side, connect this 1016 make sure we're not crossing any other numbers with the east side. Then from there we'll go to 1012 and then on this side we can connect the 1012 over here and then we connect the smallest then that's left which is 1008. So now that we've connected all of our lines, we have our isobars. So now on the map, we're going to add two letters. We're going to add a letter for high and a letter for low. So I'm going to add a text box, and I want to put the high number in here. So I'm going to put an H for high because that's the high pressure area. That's the highest number. And then over here, I'm going to put a text box, and I'm going to put an L for low because that's the low pressure area. The numbers on the isobars moving away from an H actually get smaller. So 1024, smaller 1020, 1016, 1012. And the numbers on the isobars that are moving away from an L, from a low area, they get larger. So you see 1004, 1008, 1012, 1016. 